Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of MoveToLoveland.com. Hello, Loveland Magazine viewers. Cassie Mattia here for a very, very special interview. Now, usually we're in the studio, but today we decided to go out and about in Loveland to the new DVD brew located on Loveland Madeira Road. I have the crew with me right now. We have Bobby King, who's the general manager. We have Keith Stark, who is the brewmaster. And then we have Dana Vaughn, let's get it right, Deppenbrock. You got and he it. is the owner yeah. and uh, really the curator, to put it quite simply. In a, yeah. yeah, in a roundabout way, right? So I want to get rocking and rolling right now. What I want to know first, Dana, is what the heck is your background? I know we discussed this when, we, when I first met you, but I would love for the viewers to know that this is a passion project, and that's pretty awesome to be able to do that. Yeah, so um, my whole life I've basically been in the sheet metal industry. Mm. Uh, and that's hence that's what the hammer handles are Gore yeah gorgeous um, and through the years I started home brewing probably 25 years ago I guess mm -hmm. and I made my basement into a little basement mini brew pub have parties have people over all you know people would always say hey you need to do something with this you yeah need to, nah, I got a real job you know so I guess about four years ago I decided you know I think I'm gonna take that next step and started looking for a property and found this place and kind of took it from there well and and this used to be the loveland car wash johnny's car wash John, was it johnny's car yeah. wash so why loveland and why like a car wash area was it because you kind of saw a brewery that could work here or the architecture obviously is unreal i love the architecture yeah so originally i looked at four other properties closer to town mm. And to be honest with you, real estate at that time has is, is gone through the roof. Right. I happened to stumble upon this place and it, after I looked at it, I'm like, this is perfect. I can make this work. Took it to a contractor and he said, you want to do what with a brewery or with a car, car wash? <laughs> so yeah, I want to turn it into a brewery. So. That's here we are. Where we are. Oh, that's so awesome. Now, obviously, we have Bobby and Keith here. Bobby, we were talking a little bit earlier about your background. It's pretty interesting that you're kind of coming into a brewery with your background, but it kind of meshes well together. Tell me a little bit about your background and how you stumbled, you know, into DVD brew. So, um, my family owns a couple other restaurants, right? So, I've been in like the management and the, the restaurant business. Um, one of our other guys on our management team, his name's Mike. Um, my dad bought a restaurant from Mike. So Mike okay. came and started helping Dana get this place open. You know, I signed on to, I interviewed to just bartend. Um, and then Dana was like, Hey, you got it experience because of your day job. Right. And I was like, yeah, he was like, let's have you do some IT stuff for us. Um, and then as we, you know, that, I guess that just cultivated into, you know my management experience from other restaurants and being able to lead and the the input that i bring and the value that i bring to you know the the tap room in the front of house um kind of just led to managing the the front of house and, and that's a skill set to say anything um i watch all kinds of brewery and restaurant shows and right now one of my favorites is the bear i don't know if you guys have seen awesome. that yeah. but what a realistic aspect of what what you guys do and i'm sure it's it, it gets gritty back there so you're the brewmaster keith tell me a little bit about how you started and why you have such a passion for making beer um yeah so i started brewing after i got a homebrew kit for christmas oh my when gosh. i was 20 years old i think um at that point i didn't really know what i wanted to do and i was going to college so mm -hmm. I decided to go to Cincinnati State, and they've got a brewing science program. Do they so, really? Yep. So I did that, and then I uh, ended up working at Listerman's in mm. Norwood, and that's how I met Dana. Um, Listerman's has a homebrew store, and Dana was a customer in there, and he would bring in you know, his brews for everyone to try. and So we kind of knew each other, and then yeah. I brewed there for almost four years, and then Dana reached out to me and said, hey, I'm opening a brewery if you want to. Heck yeah. Come and make the beer. Right. And I, you know, couldn't right. say no. So now, Dana, obviously this architecture is unreal. I mean, when I came here, what was it, a month ago, that was the first thing I noticed. Just 
the iron work, the wood, the even down to your, your taps. Like everything is just so well thought out. So tell me a little bit about the architecture and what thought went behind that. Because obviously this was a car wash. Like you, right. you're like, you had, you had your work cut out for you. Yeah, um, that's kind of hard to explain because I kind of winged everything. <laughs> I mean, Lack of better words. I'm being honest with <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I just said, you know, I'd like to do this, like to do that. I want the, you know, this, I, I, it's probably not the right way to say it, but it's the man cave feel. Yes. It's, you know, you feel like you're at somebody's basement. You know, you're mm -hmm. just hanging out, having some beers. Um, so I brought everything from my house and started hanging it on the walls. Um, you know, we had the, the wood on the walls that was we th we thought of that early on with the contractor mm -hmm. um the tables i i was looking for a more industrial look for, right. uh, for tables that's how i came up with those um yeah i mean it just it's kind time of place. Yeah. yeah now the, you always planned on having an outdoor setting yes. yeah that's perfect yeah um so i guess my next question is and i thought this was so interesting when i met you you have Right, 29 different drafts at this point? Correct. 29. So the part that I thought was crazy. Is it 28? Yeah, 29? we still got another one to go. Okay. Are you working on one? I think yeah, I saw on your have, website. We will have 29 okay. total, yeah. Okay, cool. What I found interesting, I was like, who the heck are those people above the taps? Like, what? what is that? So you told me they were your friends. That is so <laughs> funny to me. I love that. So. Tell me how you selected who to represent what yeah, draft. So was there even thought behind it? There was. So for probably the last 10 years or so, I had a group of guys come over. It was our church, Sunday church at my basement, and we'd bottle beer. Mm -hmm. So I started thinking things through. I'm like, you know what? I need to, I'm going to sketch up these guys, put them on a t-shirt and put you know, the name on the back. So that's where it started. Okay. And so the, the first four or five were the buddies that, you know, I bottled beer with for the last 10 years. And then I just, as we came up with the different beers that we were going to put on tap, I would kind of picture those different beers with different people that, you know, friends and family. Right. So that's really how it all worked out. And I bet they feel so honored to be represented. <laughs> uh, yeah, some are, and some yeah. are like, are you really going to put me up there? <laughs> so. so, obviously you've curated a lot of the beers. Have you made any of your own or helped or orchestrated not, any new ones? Or No, uh, not yet, but you're doing it. To, you're going to yeah. do it. Okay, yeah. okay. I love that. Given, given them an opportunity with a yeah. home brewing kit. That's just crazy. That's how you started. That's um, how I started too. So. Yeah, that's <laughs> how wild is that? Um, so... I want to know, you know, I'm, unfortunately, I can't drink beer for the most part because I have a gluten allergy, but I love the smell of it. I love the thought process behind it. So because I can't try anything, right, what would you say right now is the most popular draft and why? You want to, whoever wants to answer. I would say uh, Chucky's Czech Pilsner. Uh-huh. And then maybe our Hefeweizen. Yeah, and those are both, um, you know, they're Danish recipes, like we said, but they're very uh, traditionally made. Now, is it? Do you think it's because of the flavor? Is it light? Like, um, well, they're both they're both different. Okay. Um, I think they're they're quality beer, um, but the Hefeweizen is a lot different from the Pilsner. Right. Right. Um, now, obviously, in addition to beer, you do have cocktails. So, you, I mean, that's what I got when I when sure. I was here. So. D did you originally want to implement that or was that an afterthought like hey maybe we should have a full bar or yeah so originally i didn't want to go through the licensing mm, oh yeah because that's a lot of work but as i thought things through i'm like you know there's people that don't drink beer there's just and you know i want to make sure that there's something here for everybody right um, so i went that route just to make sure that if there are people that come in, they stay here because there are other options versus beer. Right. You know, otherwise they just, you know, they don't have anything we want, so we're out of here. Right, so you right. You got to keep people here. Well, and that's cool that you're, you're 
you're meeting the masses, you know, requirements because it, it does. I mean, I want to try beer, but yeah, I want to have fun in an atmosphere like this too. So I appreciate that. Um, so Bobby, I, I noticed you guys have food trucks out there. Who who thought of that? Obviously, I love that because there's a lot of bars that there's no food, and you're just like, you keep them around longer, right? So. Is there a thought process behind what food truck you select, or is it different ones, or do you pick certain cuisines? How does that work? So it's we have uh, uh, Casa Mexico and uh, Mason. Uh, I mean, him and Dana have been friends for 20 years, so he is one of our primary ones, right? And he's always willing to fill in if we don't have one. We also, you know, source people around here, right? We have somebody from Washington Courthouse that does Philly cheesesteaks. Oh, yeah. So, you know, we, we get their availability. We work it into our schedule, right? Um, but, yeah, we have everything from, you know, barbecue today to um, an Asian cuisine to a macaroni and cheese, like, um, uh, grilled cheese, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I mean, we have a little bit of everything, and it's kind of just, you know, when they're available and when we're available... You know, we're happy to, uh, you know, have somebody here for people to eat, right? Because right. then, yes, it does keep them here longer. Now, are they here every day? We do have food. 90, 99% of the time, we have a food truck here every day. Okay, yep. and it's parked right out there, kind of where, what, car washes used to go through? Yep. Give or take? Yep. Yeah, that's so convenient. Yeah, that was my plan in the beginning was to leave that bay open for food trucks. Okay. So if they could pull in if it's nasty outside. You know, people aren't going out in the rain or whatnot. So right, right. That that, that's purpose. smart. And like I said, I mean, I know that's one of the big things with bars in Loveland. It's like the food. It's like, um, yeah, here's, chips. here's some chips. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> here's some French fries. And then by the time, you know, you're like, I've had two drinks and you're like, I'm so hungry. Yeah. Um, so what I always like to ask, because I find new business concepts so interesting. Obviously, there's other breweries out there. Duh. We know that. So and any of you can answer this or attest to this, what do you think sets DVD Brew apart from any other concept that may be similar or had just opened? Um, oh, I'll go first. Uh, one, the, the variety of beer we have, right? So we have, I mean, we have 29 taps that are gonna be our own brews, right? There is something for everyone. And when there's not, right, we have other options like cocktails or you know neutrals or white claws or something like that. Um, I think because of the different styles of beer, right, it kind of sets us apart because we, you know, we have more than eight or ten taps, right, and it's all beer that we've brewed, um, and it, it's just more of a variety, right? People can try more, people can find different styles that they like, I guess that would be one thing that I Well, I guess say. it's unique, too, because you guys made it. Yeah. It's not like, you know... Right. A, a, a generic brand. I mean, you go to some, you know, not just restaurants, but some like breweries, right? Uh, they have some beer that they didn't brew on tap, and, and we do too, but, um, you know, there's only like five or six that they brewed, right? And people just get like bored with it. Right. Right. So here we have, you know, eventually 29, right? That people can just try whatever they want. Like the Pilsners or the Ales or the IPAs. I mean, we, we have something for everyone and maybe all 29 at once who knows i mean it could be a challenge right <laughs> the draft challenge um Just for a teeth to work out yeah i think <laughs> there's a, a market night. for that i think there's a market. <laughs> yeah. hey you know um what's his name guy ferrari he's been all across cincinnati recently yeah oh, really? yeah oh gosh yeah all across cincinnati he's covered so many and i'm like oh come down to love yeah. you know um dana future plans so i want to know is are you ever going to outsource your drafts get it in stores get it at cappy's you know for instance and also are you going to franchise like what are you looking to do maybe five years down the road i haven't thought that far <laughs> two years <laughs> <laughs> so actually we we do have uh, a couple of different bars and restaurants that have our beers on tap mm. uh laszlo's they're out in withamsville mm -hmm. uh Casa Mexico out in Mason and Docks in Lebanon. I think those are the only three right now. Uh, we're not really pushing that. Mm -hmm. It's good to get your name out there, but um, the margins are pretty low on that. Uh, the key is to keep people in here, drink the beer in here. Um, as far as down the road, 
you know, maybe we'll start canning some beers down the road. Mm. But, you know, we're not a real high volume um, yes. producer. <laughs> yeah. So uh, right now we're just focusing on the what we have. Right. We need to make what we have work, get our name out there more, uh, and then down the road eventually do something. But right now it's right. really not in well, and plans. I think that's why people get in trouble too much too soon yeah they get excited you know so you're doing it right so um so what i want to say here is you guys are open monday through thursday 4 to 10 p.m and then friday through sunday 12 p.m to 10 p.m right yep, yep. i said loveland madeira it's 155 loveland madeira road i mean what's the easiest landmark for people next door isn't it the pet place next door pet place sand volleyball yep sand, oh, right di- uh, what's it called grand sands, grand sands yeah, yeah yeah so you're right tucked in the middle yeah. so Go to Grand Sands, play some volleyball, and then come, yeah, come on over here. Yeah. All right. So is there anything, um, I always do this at the inter- end of my interviews, is there anything that you guys want to say to the community or, you know, people that are unsure about beer or trying something new or kind of stuck in their ways with, like, the Miller Lights or Bud Lights or anything like that? Is there anything that you guys want to leave the community with to kind of encourage them to come visit? I would say just come on out and give it a try and if you have any questions talk to us you know we're totally open to chatting about it and you know we'll give you a behind the scenes look at the brewery if you'd ever want you know yeah and you know try our you know our flights you know good little samples you know there's four in a flight uh so you can try those and you know if you don't like it tell us and we'll give you something else so right yeah just come out and just give us a try amen to that bobby what do you think um I agree with what they both said. The other thing I want to add um, is, you know, a a great time to, you know, you're like, hey, I don't want to spend 10 bucks on a flight, right? So Monday through Thursday from four to seven, we have our happy hour. So it's $1.50 off pints and, you know, $2 off of our flights, um, which is also a very good time to, you know, come in. You you spend a little less money, right? You get to try some of the beer. Um, And I, I... like they both said right we have flights you know we'll let you sample a beer before you get it if you don't like it we're we're not gonna hold you accountable for it right um if you sampled it and you like it yeah we'll absolutely give you one um i think just coming out and giving us a try is the the first step and i do want to mention you guys are starting live entertainment now which is awesome and when i came here um there was was it a business meeting of some sort we or had a few different so people come out and do that, right? Have yep. your business meetings here. Um, you know, the chamber could come here and have different a different meetings. So I encourage you guys to also, you know, check that out too. Um, so if you want to shout out your website and your social media handles for people. Yeah, so it's dvdbrew.com. Uh, we're currently getting a new website, so haha. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay, IT guy. <laughs> yeah, uh, but we are we're on Facebook and Instagram at DVD Brew as well. Awesome, awesome. And you guys have been pretty active lately. I've been, I've been seeing a lot of good content, which is awesome. I know that's like a that's like a thing too, getting social media together. Yeah, and it, thankfully it's a, we have. Well, actually, Keith's wife. My wife does it. Yeah. She Ooh. takes care of all that. So there you go. There you go. It's very helpful. Well, I appreciate you guys having us out. Everybody check out DVD Brew, get your drafts, get your cocktails if you don't like drafts, and come just check out the atmosphere. The summer is going to be hopping for you guys. I just know it. So, all right, everybody. We'll see you next time. Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of MoveToLoveland.com.